Good morning, everybody. Well, today is Monday. It is two days before Christmas, and the uh, rush, of course, is on. Um, but today, I had my Weight Watcher meeting um, one day early instead of it being Tuesday. It was Monday because of the holidays. So, I am so, so happy and excited oh, to, you know, it's kind of like that Alleluia moment. Oh! Hallelujah. <laughs> um, sorry for the singing, but I did drop down 2.2 pounds, which I am absolutely thrilled of. And it puts me one pound and four ounces from my exact goal weight. So I have one pound and four ounces to go. Now, I do have to weigh in again next Monday course I have to get through Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and uh, I'm not quite sure if I'm going to actually be able to um, make my goal by next Monday. If I don't, I'm not going to be at all bent out of shape because here's the main deal. It, it pays off, guys. I've been kind of plateaued and I just know that I've been tracking my weight. I've been really watching it. And I have, just like everybody else, struggled through these holidays. And, you know, this past week, with it being one day early that I had to go and weigh in, I still had a breakfast with Santa that I had to attend. I had a dinner last night with my family where... We got together and we um, had our homemade wedding soup. And that is just full of wonderfully beautiful, rich, delicious foods. Tiny meatballs, chicken, sponge cheese croutons. And I enjoyed a good, healthy bowl of it. But I really had, and I even had um, a taste of some of the different cookies that I made, one each, which was two cookies. So I got through that, but I made sure that throughout the day, um, I was eating um, my good zero point foods. I was filling up with lots of vegetables, fruit, and I was just trying to make the right decisions because we also even went out on our breakfast with Santa. We later all got together and had a Mexican rest, um, dinner at a Mexican restaurant. And I made the right choice. And so that's really trying to survive during these holidays and not getting frustrated. I talked about this last week where we sabotage our way of thinking and we think that, okay, well, so what? You know, I did everything I was supposed to and the scale says I didn't lose weight, but your body is actually losing in many other different ways. And that's showing you that you have good health, you have better energy, you're losing inches, your clothes are fit feeling and fitting better. So I am excited. I am happy. Right now I stand at one pound and four ounces from my actual goal. Um, and I'm just, you know, very, very proud and happy with my accomplishments. And I really wanted to be at goal before the end of the year. So I've got this other week coming up, but um, I'm just not going to beat myself up over it. It doesn't matter if I go into the new year. Um, I will get there. I am so, so determined. And I'm even determined to continue on the weight loss program um, for myself because I want to give myself that nice, comfortable cushion of three to five pounds. Because even talking with people today at the meeting and stuff saying, since Thanksgiving to now, they have easily put on three to five pounds. So I was concerned that I was so plateaued and I was just fluctuating in between ounces. Oh, I'm up four ounces. I'm down four ounces. Oh, I'm staying the same. And feeling some of that frustration um, really is so much better than gaining three to five pounds from Thanksgiving to now, because that's how easy it is from Thanksgiving to the first of the year to 
easily put on 10 pounds. So a couple of my reminders for myself is to take a taste of and be done with it. Push away from the activities and the tables. Send your plates back um, when you're out at a restaurant. Ask for a container so that before you start your meal, you can half it. Do these things because in the end, they pay off. And do not be discouraged or frustrated with yourself just because you stayed the same or lost five ounces or six ounces because those ounces add up to a half a pound, a pound, and then some. So I think every ounce you lose or you're maintaining, then be satisfied and keep pushing forward. Take a taste of, enjoy the holidays, and um, I probably will not talk to you before Christmas. So have a very blessed Merry Christmas. I'm out running um, the last of my errands so I can get everything finished at home. And hopefully I'll get a little bit of time to uh, just relax and uh, enjoy whatever's left before the rush of Christmas um, morning. And so... Um, a very merry, merry Christmas to you all. Bye.